Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drummer1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, well, well. Guys, I'm back one more time. You know who I am. I'm your gracious host, Drummer 1980. My motto is I don't make believe, I make believers. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself why. Because remember this one vital point happiness is an inside job. I'm going to say it two times for great measure. Happiness is an inside job, and it will always be an internal fella. Guys, we're back today again with a little something different. I got a reaction video that I'm about to do on album Preach. They talking about Fresh and Fit. Guys, Fresh and Fit is crying. And they calling their subscribers broke and all kind of stuff. Now, I'm just warning the Christian folks. It will be some profanity. Okay, guys? So get your popcorn and let's go. Another day, another Fresh and Fit L. Again! By the way, if you're a brokey in the chat, I'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say though is like when you see the value in the Castle Club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. Your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business. I appreciate you guys. That's what we're talking about, bro. Good no brokey shots, you see Avery. Notice how the guys that make money don't complain about the Castle Club is the important. Calling your fans brokey is crazy. Calling a fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you. The boys released a video saying the end of Fresh and Fit. We quit. Oh. So you guys are like, ah, but why are you saying that? Like you're happy, like you're praying for their downfall. It's because I am. So um, we ended up getting demonetized, right, guys? And as you guys know that, we got demonetized August of last year. Sucky situation. Um, but Rumble had our back. As you guys know, we scaled up the podcast to a certain point where we're at a certain level where we have bring a certain quality to the show. Chris brings you guys new girls every show. There's a lot of moving parts, right? We have a, a team probably of around, what, 20 people, I would say? In an ideal world, would I love to just give you guys all the free content we could? Of course, bro. I would love to do it. But at the end of the day, guys, it's a business. We got people that we got to take care of. And we got to we gotta um, support Rumble. A part of the after hours, we'll go on Castle Club, guys, right? Um, but we're going to make it affordable for you guys. We, we lowered the price down to 17 bucks uh, per month. If you get in now for the next 48 hours, you're going to go ahead and have that forever. You're grandfathered in. Yep. Because we're going to raise the price, actually, from 17 to 35 after Wednesday. And the reason for that... So now they're going to put him behind a paywall at 35 bucks a month for them to yell at the whores and be like, you're dumb. Who wants to pay 35 bucks a month? There's a couple of people. Well, the fans are not happy with it. They in the comment section just ripping them apart. You fucking lied to us. You said you would never go behind a paywall, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, but they they have no choice. Mm. It's easy to say we'll never go to behind a paywall when you have options. When you have all options and everything, you're monetized. No, we'll never go to behind a paywall. I have no problem with Fresh and Fit until they started this thing with these Nick Fuentes characters. They on there just degrading black people as a whole. Black Americans, they diss. They lazy. There is no racism. The white man is experienced more racism than the black man. They racist against wasp. All this old foolishness. And now look. Uh-huh. We don't dabble in the brown and all that. We ain't not riders. Well, okay. That's all fine and dandy. Now, where did all that get you? This fool had on clan robes, guys. Was making monkey signs towards preach. Now, this guy is from the uh, Sudan. You see? That's why I don't take two kind of guys like Fresh and Fit. See, family, they always want to focus on the bottom of black society. Of course, you're going to find ratchet, degeneracy down there. Every culture have it. Every demographic have that. White people, Chinese people, Latin, everybody have that. So why are you choosing to focus on our bottom, our degenerates? 
Let's focus on your degenerates in the Sudan. Let's focus on white people degenerates here and around the world. Well, actually, hmm, uh, let me take that back. You don't have to go to the bottom of white society. You can go to the top, the middle, or the bottom. It's all the same. Because whenever you get to the super rich, they commit crimes against humanity. I don't hear you saying nothing about that. The middle class of white society, just as bad as the poor. I don't hear you say anything about that. Now, when you look at black society, black society, most of their crimes are at the bottom. Am I lying? You can go check the stats. Go check it. The majority of black people crime is in the poverty areas, the low income areas, the ghettos, as they call it. When you get to the middle, little to no crime. When you get in the upper echelon, little to no crime. So my question is, why do you choose to focus on the bottom of black society? Because that's what they pay you to do. So you understand the assignment. Your assignment is to keep your foot on black folks. And we see it. That's why we got a word that's called tethering. To latch on to somebody else and come up. And now you're talking crazy against them like Candace Owens. But did she get a wake up call, guys? She on here crying. Uh, uh, I was the spook that sat by the door. No, you what? You're lying. You was talking crazy, too. And she got a wake up call. Rich and Fit got their wake up call. Uh huh. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Isn't it so sweet? The tears. Mm, mm, I like coon tears. Stupid sale. That's pretty much the only option that they got. And there's no reason to feel sad for them because when asked if he regrets it, he said no. Um, in retrospect, are there any regrets in not managing the transition better? Example, mixing the nighttime show with Stewie. You shoot yourselves in the foot by mismanaging. Um. <laughs> Do is, is, is any regrets? If you're gonna ask me personally, no, no, no regrets, man. I got 20 real estate properties, so I can tell mother you my net worth is over six million. I get money residually. I don't need to do this shit. I don't need to make a fucking cent off this podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me, so I can sit here and tell you there's you. We need you guys to support us on Rumble. If you guys want us to keep making this content, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the f I want to say, and I don't care what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. Just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my 10 toes and my two feet, and I stand where the f I'm going to stand. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy mother. You fucking losers that sit there and say, Oh, it's getting rocky, man. Hey, 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 shut the f up. A few moments later. So I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. Beta, beta girl. Myron, are you really going to quit law enforcement? Yeah, you know, saving children. That's cool. But reminding whores that they're whores? That's even better. <laughs> hey, <I'm> stupid. <laughs> oh, boy, they're so stupid. All that screaming and hollering, all that being braggadocious, that comes to a head, doesn't it, guys? Uh, impressionate. I'm going to put it to you like this, guys. If they want to charge people for their content, they have a right to do that. But they was dragging people about, well, our content free and all this stuff. Okay, but now that you've been demonetized and things have came to a stop because the monetization that's a big part of pay guys especially for a channel of that size man that was probably 60 or 70 percent of their revenue all because they couldn't scale it back and trying to be a shock jock and trying to go overboard over and beyond ah, certain things man 
you have to know when to say when. Okay? But they didn't know when to say when. So now their water supply got cut. And now he on here with these hoochie daddy shorts and these Daisy Dukes on. <laughs> Talking about saving the children. <laughs> Oh Lord, <laughs> boy, 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 tis, tis, tis! What a tangle web we weave when we try to deceive. Yo, somebody give me some fresh and fit merch so I can cry into it. We ain't got no tissues or clothes in here. Other than I distinctly remember him saying he doesn't give a shit. He'll do whatever he wants, which is fine. You can do whatever you want, but your employer might fire you. And then when they fire you and you got to beg for scraps after the fact, don't think anyone's going to feel sympathy for you. So you want you to be out with your chest out. This is like the OnlyFans girls who do OnlyFans forever and then they're like, oh, I'm mentally fucked up. This is the same thing. This is the idiot who thinks he could get away with saying anything and doing anything. Then he gets fired. Now he's begging for scraps. <sighs> and now he feels bad. He's like, well, guys, I can't quit. You know, yeah, I'm financially set, but my employees, you know, who's going to take care of them? We make it look easy, guys, but like we have people that work for us that legit have a need and depend on us. Yeah. And if it wasn't for this current platform right now, they wouldn't eat. Neither are kids. You should have thought of that before you were a idiot on camera, right? See what happens when you're a leader? You have other people you have to take responsibility for. But because you want to be goofy on screen, you cost all of them their potential salary with this move. And a lot of the fans are not going to translate over to your paywall, and justifiably so. This whole idea that we do content for free. At any day, bro, if you do want to support, it's fine. Yeah, you don't have but, to. But support as well. But don't sit there and call us fucking money grabbers when we've been doing this shit for free for three fucking plus years, giving you guys content, and we're still going to continue to give you content for free. The content we do is not for free. Your fans, my fans, everyone who's a viewer, they're paying. 100% they're paying for their time they're paying for the viewership of the ads they're paying they're paying they're paying either through YouTube premium which means that goes to you that's not free or they're paying through ad time which is the advertisers basically being able to sell them products so they end up paying for the products in the long run everybody pays for these content there's nobody who's not paying there's no such thing as free content and everybody has a boss your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business I appreciate you guys that's what we're talking about bro Good no broke you shout out to you see Avery notice how the guys that make money don't complain about the castle club it's the important by the way if you're a brokey in the chat i'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support that's understandable what i will say though is like when you see the value in the castle club you're like damn you know what yeah i need to be a part of that he called them brokies brokey <laughs> calling someone a brokey when you you just ask them to please pay for my staff calling your fans wild. brokey is calling crazy calling a fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you to, for you to pay your fan because you can't pay your fans yourself. I it is crazy. I distinctly remember these guys and so many other red pill dudes ripping Pokemon apart because she said that about her fans about her cookies. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. While fresh and fit, just pearly things and every little loser in the red pill space are taking L's. Again! We want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Surfshark. It's, it's not about the money, man. Yeah. It, it really isn't about the money, man. I could walk away from all this and be okay today. I don't think they see it. Hey, I don't know. think there's a lot of things they see. I don't think they see the fact of why they got demonetized. The thing is, really yes, you have to know when somebody is a con artist. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, oh, I don't want to make no money. Yes, I want to make some money from this. Do you know why? Simply because I have put my time in this. And it takes a lot to do this. And I'm a one man show. Yes, I want your support. Yes, I want donations. Yes, I do. But if you don't do it, I must still be okay. All right. See, I'm honest with it. Do I want support? Yes. I never would tell you in a million years that I don't want your support. That's a lie. And anybody that come to you with that is a liar. Therefore, if they can't be trusted. Okay. Do I want support? Yes. If you don't support, I must still eat good because I have a job. Okay. And guys, another thing, he complained about his employees going to lose their pay and all this stuff and they have families. Why did you think about that from the beginning? You understood the assignment, didn't you? So you can't blame nobody but you because the very person that got them in this predicament issue because it wasn't fresh. And now he's on here crying, cry me a river. You see how life work. One minute you at the top, one minute you to the bottom. You see how that work? Calling people broke because they don't want to support you? Insulting your subscribers and all that? 
You don't do that. If the people don't want to support, they don't want to support. Apparently, they don't see no value in paying $35 a month. Okay? And that's their choice. But you don't insult people. I don't care if you did it for free for 10 years. If the people want to support, they're going to genuinely support you. Because they were saying the truth and not the wild shit that you did. And all the try that you try to do, like your name kept coming up in a negative way Bro. in the eyes of YouTube. You don't, they don't even see that. They see it's really, no, nah, man, it's freedom of speech. You see that. So I don't even think, I, they, I don't think they even see that they're doing the same thing. But whatever. Freedom of speech. But is it the guys who did the copyright strikes? Yes. I fought falsely to say hundreds. Yes. Trying to get a bunch of channels deleted because yes. they didn't like what the channels were saying. Funny, you guys you get, you go to these guys' chats and you're critical of them. They just censor you. You can't even be critical of them in their chat. I've been advised by a bunch of people. Let's move out. I should start banning you, hater. So we should just start banning y'all, honestly. Because you guys are paid to come in and purposely hate and f what we got going on. To Because Abba and Preach paid you or Ethan and Decline paid y'all to come in and talk shit and you guys are doing that. And at that point, it's not even free speech. I'm just coming in to talk shit. Hater niggas don't deserve free speech. So it's so funny to me that the people who yap on and yap about freedom of speech and blah, 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 you peer behind the curtain and they are just as authoritative as other groups. They will shut you down if they don't like what you're saying. It, it costs a lot. To Guys, you get the gist of the matter. A bunch of hypocrites, right? A bunch of hypocrites. And now the curtain is about to close on. I can't say that I'm glad or anything, but... You just reap what you sow. You planted these seeds three or four years ago, and now you're reaping the harvest for it. That's just it. Some people call it karma, but I don't subscribe to karma. I subscribe to reaping what you sow. Okay? And now look, they were trying to get everybody demonetized. They put up copyright strikes on everybody, and everything fell through. And like I pre say, their name kept coming up in a negative light, a negative connotation over and over and over and over and over but yet, they was going viral but now, okay, it's time to pay the pop and now you ain't willing to pay the pop mm -mm -mm. guys, you can learn a lot from a dummy okay, did I say you can learn a lot from a dummy this guy was sitting on top of the world literally, all he had to do was just hold his composure no, see, but the thing about a fresh and a fit they have to keep going have to keep going and this ain't giving no game to nobody just bringing on a bunch of whores hollering at them throwing up statistics see that's for a certain segment of society if you really want to get some game you have to go somewhere else because Myron don't have no game Fresh don't have no game because they've been caught buying women anybody can do that Anybody can tell you to go work out Get your money together Anybody can tell you that But it's one thing that they can't tell you They can't tell you about the psychology of a woman Because they never had one To actually sit down and just have a conversation with Over a period of time They never studied women See you have to be a aficionado A connoisseur of women to understand women You have to sit down and talk to a stomp down hoe Without trying to give her $100 for six Or $40 for six Did you hear me? You have to sit down and have a conversation with her and she can game you up, but most guys don't know that because the only thing that they see prostitutes as as a transaction. That's a lot when I just see it. Take it in and analyze what I said. A stomp down whore can tell you way more than a fresh and fit. If you just sit down and have a conversation with them. But what do I know? I'm just some country booking from South Carolina, right? But guys, tell me what y'all think. He's crying. He's sackcloth and ash and gnashing the teeth. And he's having a meltdown. Well, it is what it is. The chickens have came home to roost. That's all I can tell you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Come on back to see me. And go check out my other content because I got some bangles, guys. Just go in my archives. I'm telling you because I'm kind of just melancholy right now. But go check out my archives, guys, because I got some good content. Not because I said it, because the audience have made that abundantly clear. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.